Hello and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer. Welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. So I'm on Facebook as well as Instagram. Hey, Instagram. I don't be on Instagram. I'm about to go on the other side of my desk real quick. So I'll be up in a second. Hey, y'all. If y'all know, y'all know this is what I got to do. So, sorry about the lighting. I'm a little bit far back. Hey, y'all. Hey, whoever joined. Hey, boo. I can't really see y'all because y'all kind of far away. But hey, everybody who hopped on. Y'all see this auto press? I am so excited. So super duper excited to unbox this. I'm so sorry about the lighting, y'all. It's bad. I know it is. But... Happy Monday. Happy Motivational Monday. Oops. I knew I was going to forget something. One second, y'all. Y'all know my little setup. I got to do what I got to do. So sorry I'm so close. But hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I see y'all on here. What up, though? Sorry. Now, I'm back over here. So, hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. I got a box that's over here that's irritating me. Okay. Hey, I see y'all. You got yours last week? Hey. Hey, everybody. I see all the comments. Everybody drop a heart, and I'll be able to see the stuff in the replay. Y'all, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Only one I'm missing is uh, TikTok. So, sorry about the lighting. I'm away from my little ring light. But we about to open this. So, everybody drop a heart. So, show some love. Like I said, I'm too far away. I can barely read what y'all are saying. Maybe I'll sign on there. But let's unbox this thing. And I purposely... Have not fully watched somebody unboxing. So I don't even know how to use this thing. I see people pressing the button and they're going up and down in their videos, but we about to figure this out together, y'all. I'm so excited. I've been waiting on this bad boy. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is the HTV Rot Auto Heat Press. Okay. So this is my first time unboxing it. And I got a long night. I got a bunch of stuff I got to do. So here is a product manual. It is a 15 by 15 inch heat press. So I'm going to keep this over here. Here's a Teflon sheet for it. I'm going to show you some of the other stuff I got, too. So, I'm going to just set that over there. And we about to unbox this bad boy. Oh, okay. I didn't know I was getting the, uh, what color is this? Like, turquoise -y? I didn't know which one I was getting. But, okay, cool. Hmm. I don't know the last time I actually unboxed something live in a while. So, this is about to be funny. Nothing big, at least. It'd be little stuff. But this seems like I'm going to have to rip it open. Oh, Lord. Slide it up. I'm going to throw the box out the way. So excited. I don't want to knock these cameras on. Okay, we almost there. 
Monday. How are y'all? It's the last month of the year. How are you guys doing? All right. It's so cute. It is adorable. Okay, y'all. We almost there. Let me move it around. Yo, I brought these upstairs completely by myself. My brother took my baby brother took it out to the car. Y'all know they typically bring my stuff, but I wanted it home so bad. I was like, I'm gonna bring it myself. I did it. I did it. That box was heavy too. It's so cute. It's adorable. Okay. Everybody tell me how y'all feeling. So when I see the replay and when I get over there and I can see what y'all saying, how y'all feeling today on this here Monday? How y'all 2020, 2022 ending? We got action. Y'all, I don't know what to do. I promise you, I didn't research this. Y'all know I'll be doing stuff. And I did it on purpose. I was going to look it up. And I said, no, we're going to just do it together. All right. So let's turn it on. Oh, sucky, sucky. Let me show y'all how I look. How I look. I look. It's so cute. Now it's heating up. Like I said, I don't know. I'm going to look at the directions. That's clearly on and off. That's the temperature, the digital. Then it's going up and down. Then I got to look and see what those things are. How many of y'all have this already? Okay, so this is an auto heat press. It has a digital display screen, three dual zone heating engine. It's fast heating and long lasting. A large ironing board, big ironing area, three section buffer slide, high stability, flat performance, and this is the base. All right, this is the digital screen. Like the temperature, like I said, the on and off switch. This is the time. These are the modes. You can customize it. This is auto. Um, and of course, increase and decrease, like I said. And then the R is the start. That's simple enough. It's nice and easy. Drop a one if y'all have one of these already. So it says when it comes on, the default temperature is 210 Fahrenheit with 20 seconds. That's what it's going to automatically do. You press the temp to set the temperature and adjust the temperature with up and down. I think I want to do, 
I think I want to heat for I want to uh, sublimate something. So we go do 400. That was easy. See, I figured that out really quickly. The 60 seconds. All right. So now I got to heat up. And I think what I want to sublimate are going to be these stockings from Five Below. Not my, not the C. I think I want to do the M for Madison and the L for Lola. That's my niece. And I think, I didn't know if I was going to do it on camera or not. I think I want to just do this image I got from Creative Fabrica. And it's just a Merry Christmas. And if I want to later on, I could put their name. But this is the image from Creative Fabrica. Is this a, I just searched Christmas, uh, PNG or SBG. It's Asa Paper, Cosmo Ink, HTV Rant, Auto Press. And we are going to see how this turns out. But I think I'm going to do this. I didn't know if I was going to do it on camera or not. It was depending on how it went. So I got my butcher paper already print cut off. But I also got, so I got the heat press. Hey, everybody. Tell me how y'all like it. Tell me some tips. I think I did see somebody talking about the heating pad or something. But so what we're going to do is, I'm going to turn it just to the sad so that I could. It's on, it's on my little purple. Oh, y'all can see. It's on my little purple mat. So I also got I got the heat press. So thank you so, so, so much. HTV Rock, I truly appreciate you. And then I have some heat transfer vinyl. Let's see. Look how pretty this is. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. I'll leave what the stuff is. And I should have. Then I have some sublimation HTV. All right. And then it give you the sublimation HTV instructions. about weeding and all of that stuff. So y'all know I'm excited about that. Okay. Then we have some HTV Rock Christmas heat transfer vinyl. And it gives you all the directions. It's a little package. And then it gives you all the directions. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it is heating up fast. It said 357 already. So let's see. Black, another um, Teflon sheet, some plaid, green, white. Ooh, this is cute. Y'all see that? I can't wait to use this. I'm going to do probably a full video with the stuff that they sent. I just wanted to try it, y'all. I said we got to unbox it real quick. And then I started opening. I said I got to stop. We have some HTV Rock Permanent Adhesive Vinyl Rolls, 12 by 5 feet, in a bunch of different colors. So I'm excited. It gives you all the directions and everything. And it's heat, it, it heated up quick. That was real quick. Look at the colors. So cute. All right, y'all. We're about to figure this out. Live and in color. 
So, trying to figure out if I should come on the other side. Got the little pull-out drawer. Looky, looky. Isn't that fancy? That's so cute. Okay, let me look at the thing again. Oh, the only thing I do is I just slide it. I'll put it on there and press start. That was easy. Nice and easy. Where my scissors go? So I'm going to just cut this out. I hope my lint roll is near me. I'm sorry I'm not talking to y'all because I can't see y'all comments. I promise I'm going to lift it up in a minute. I mean, not lift it up. I'm going to uh, either sign on on my phone, my other phone over here, because I got my laptop, my one phone, then I got another phone. I was trying to charge my iPad, but they weren't charging. So I'm just cutting around here. And I did measure the stocking, and I think I want to pre-press it a little bit. Oh, my lint roll right here, y'all. We Gucci. We Gucci. I didn't know where it was. So I'm going to lint roll it. Make sure this plastic don't melt. And then make sure, I think this make sure it's polyester because I believe it's polyester when I did the one video. I think it's, yep, it's 100% polyester. And so, well, polyester, this is red. So this is a bright color, right? And I'm sorry about the lighting, y'all. I think it's bad, but I'm so far away from my ring light. So I just got black. I just got a black image to go on the red. And hopefully, you know, it shows and everything because polyester, it goes into um, sublimation. It goes into the fabric. And I'm like, black should be able to show up on red. So this is just a test. And we live. We're going to see how it goes. So I'm sliding it out. And I for sure wouldn't be doing this this way typically but how we set up we gonna do it this way i'm gonna grab the image and i'm going to lay it down and i think i'm gonna tape it this is cricket heat uh transfer tape and i'm just lay it down i mean tape it on there can y'all see that taping it on there and i don't think i want to put this up under there so i'm gonna leave it out some and it might not be perfect because of how i'm doing it but so we're gonna slide it in it's at 400 degrees fahrenheit for 60 seconds i'm gonna press the r and we go have it do what it do and this is the first press ever on my HGV wrapped auto press. I'm so excited. And I left this part out so it wouldn't, so it uh, could be just all as flat as it can. Because it is like a um, stocking. This part is a little bit higher than the middle part where the thread is. So it's not like completely flat. So we're going to hope. We're going to hope that it turns out right. And Maddie's, I'm going to have to press hers. I should have pre-pressed it, but I didn't feel like it. Because typically you pre-press it to get the moisture out. But I just was excited and anxious. But I'm going to pre-press it to get that crease out of hers. So we're going to see. We're going to see. And let me log on. It's so weird not seeing what y'all are saying. And it automatically came up when it was done. 
All right, y'all. So it came up. Oh, Lord. Y'all, y'all didn't tell me. I forgot the butcher paper. <laughs> y'all know I'm excited. I got my butcher paper already cut out, and I did not put the butcher paper up under there. Y'all, I was too excited. But it's okay. We're going to let it sit there for a second. I hope it didn't mess that plate up. It don't look like nothing on the plate, though. But I press it again. I did not put the butcher paper on there. Y'all know I'm excited. This is what happens when you go live. This is live, true, and in color. Y'all know I stay with my butcher paper. Even though it don't typically bleed that much. But I still stay with my butcher paper. Okay, so I let it sit there for a second. Because with sublimation, you don't want it to ghost. So you want it to sit, settle in. And I taped it down just because sometimes the plates that the heat presses pull the images up. So I'm hold it up and we go peel it off together and we go see how it did. <gasps> Ooh, it's so cute. It did good, y'all. Like the video, y'all. Look how cute that is. <laughs> I see <laughs> it, it's okay I'll have to, I'll get it off the plate I don't think it got on the plate I don't think it went through but look how cute that looks it did good y'all and so with sublimation well polyester it goes into the fabrics right so I didn't pick a color because it would have went into the fibers of here so that's why I chose black to go on the red because you don't want to do Typically, you don't do sublimation on dark colors unless you're using like a black or something dark because it won't work. But it did it. It's so cute. And I could put her name and something else down here if I want. But I just wanted to see if that worked. And it did. Now, to get those creases out, I could have put a pressing pillow inside of here. So because... With sublimation, it's pressure, and it's auto-pressed to make sure that the sublimation ink got inside of there. So if I wanted to, I could have put a pressing pillow inside of here so it wouldn't show. Or I could have not cut it around in a circle and left left it. it well, it still would have been a square. But I could have put a pressing pillow in there so it wouldn't have the round indentations. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not selling this. This is for my niece and for my daughter. But if you don't like the pressure like when you the paper imprints what you could do is put a pressing pillow and i have a ton of pressing pillows from amazon that i could have slid inside of here and then it would have pressed it and it wouldn't have left that those marks so that's that but it turned out good it's sublimated well i got these from five below um i show if y'all was on my other live when i went to five below i got these from five below it's sublimated well and I did 400 degrees for 60 seconds using Asa Paper Cosmo Ink and my HTB Rock Auto Press. And my first press, this was the first press. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my daughter's, uh, I'm going to do Maddie's with the pillow press. I don't know if I'm going to do it on here live, but I'm going to for sure do hers with the pillow press so that it could not leave those indentions. Okay. And like I said, several different types of uh, pillow presses. They're not near me where I could have slid it in there and then it would have made sure it didn't do that. But it turned out so cute, y'all. Y'all see that? I love it. I'm so excited. So I'm going to make sure I do that one. Pre-press hers, put the butcher paper on, all of that stuff. And this bad boy heated up quick. It said it heat up fast. It sure did. We're going to turn it off because I'm hot. Okay? We're going to turn it off. I'm about to see what y'all are saying. And then we could do a little bit of motivation. Maybe I'll do something else. But I'm hot, y'all. I'm sweating. And I'm already too far from the light. Yep, it's 15 by 15. Let me see what everybody's saying. Hey, y'all. Happy Monday. Hey, guys. Let me get off here so IG can see me. Excuse my lighting, y'all. Oh, you getting one on Wednesday? Congratulations. 
Oh, your kids gifted it to you. That's so nice. Y'all was loving this video. Y'all like this show? Y'all was loving this video. Y'all love the little girl. This image is from Creative Fabrica. Y'all can use my links for that. You love yours? I like it so far. Oh, you got the, uh, what color is this? Y'all can't think of the right color. It's a certain color. And I can't think of it right now. I like it. That is my third heat press. <laughs> Y'all so silly. It'll be fast. Not gonna mess it up. Yeah, I'm happy. I like it. Mint green. That's right. I'm like, what colors? I'm like, it's star colors. Mint green. Hey, everybody. Hey, Dance, Heather, T-shirt, help desk, Tiffany, the dancey doer, Andrea, Marissa, Mary, one virtuous woman, Marissa, Breezy, Reggie, Rita, Miss T, Kristen, Blue Emerald, Merlinda, Woodcrafter in your pocket, Blue Emerald Creations, Reggie, Nuan, you got yours out to IP. Jabu, Up Designs, Millie from Philly, Persistent Consistent Hustle. I want to shout everybody out that I see. Yeah, y'all. And then, hey, y'all, IG. I got a couple people on here. Hey, y'all. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I literally was just, um, hey, Missy Michelle. I just made this thing, this, um, what is uh, this stocking? I was trying out my uh, new HTV Runt Auto Heat Press. And I was just coming on last to see if it worked. And it does work. And just giving some tips so that they could do, uh, make sure they do it better. They could just call it blue. Hey. Yeah, y'all, I was just so excited. I said, I'm about to come on here, unbox real quick. I have my um, uncle's funeral in the morning, and I'm reading the obituary, so I actually got to probably wash my hair tonight and do it and get ready because I'm reading the obituary. But I wanted to come on here really quickly because I was so excited. I'm hot, y'all, near this heat press. And I was like, I have to see y'all, give y'all some motivation, give me some motivation. Because y'all know life be life in. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick. Do this. And then see what y'all was doing. Do anybody have any questions about it? So technically, I have a new portion that I'm going to be doing. And what I'm going to be doing is certain questions that people ask. I'm going to answer them. And I already screenshot and everything, and I was going to upload it, but I'm so hot that I can't even do that right now. So I will be coming back live, and the new thing that I'll be doing is certain questions. I'll be popping them up on the screen, and then I'll answer them together. So make sure y'all leave y'all questions under the videos. I have some from like a couple weeks ago that I'm still going to answer. So that's going to be a new thing. So please drop all your questions because maybe your question will be answered in one of the lives or one of the videos. So I literally already have them screenshot, but I'm so far away from the computer to bring them up and um, all of that. But that's going to be a new thing that I'm going to be doing. I am trying to make this channel so much better for you guys. Like, I love and I appreciate you guys. We hit 50,000 subscribers a couple weeks ago, and I could not have done it without you. I love my dreamers so much. And I appreciate you guys, like, from the bottom of my heart. And, oh, thank you. Okay. I love you guys so much, and I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I just want to make this channel better. So I think that answering the questions that some of you guys ask um, verbally, because some of you guys, other people may have them, I think that will be a new addition. I have a couple more new additions. I have a couple more things for my members, because like I said, I actually responded to a couple of y'all in the email, and I haven't got nothing back. So thank you so much, Jim. 
Oh, I love y'all too. Thank you for the um for the condolences. So I um my uncle is my great uncle. He was 93 years old. Like I told y'all previously, he was friends with MLK, Maker Evers, Rosa Parks. Like he was a civil rights activist. He was absolutely amazing. He lived a long, beautiful life. He has a beautiful legacy and we are definitely mourning, but we are celebrating his life and all his contributions. And we hear so many stories about stuff we didn't know about him. So we are just really um you know just celebrating his life like i said i have to read the obituary so i'm like okay you could do it you could do it you could do it so i have to get prepared for that but i wanted to come on here and like i said show y'all this beautiful machine chat with y'all let you guys know that i'm not starting in 2023 i'm starting now i've been writing out so many goals so many things uh, for my channel, for our channel, for us, for things that I could do better so I could just make this channel better and just show you guys how much I appreciate you all. So if you guys have any um, any comments, any suggestions, let me know. But I definitely think that going live and answering some of the questions will be a really good addition to the channel so that we can interact and some of you guys may piggyback or come, you know, with some different questions. But I really just want to take everything up a notch. Um, Y'all know I said Maddie was back in school, so she's back in school. Y'all had her in the bed at like 830. You can't tell me nothing. I'm trying to get our life together. Do you understand? Um, I'm reorganizing my craft room, my entire place, like cleaning out closets. Y'all know I'm always trying to clean and organize. I have a really small space right now. So I'm praying, praying, praying for increase because I want a, um, I need a little bit more space. Like I said, y'all see this, my X2 right here, this machine. I had to take my Cricut is typically right here, but I had to take it off. I have so, I have my embroidery machine, my other heat press, my other heat press over my brother's house because I didn't got enough room for that. So I'm just so grateful for all my brand partners and for all of my dreamers because I literally couldn't even be here if it wasn't for you guys. Y'all don't know how much I love y'all and appreciate you all and um, my sublimation printer. And I'm praying I get another sublimation printer. I'm praying I get a DTF printer. So I need, and then my inkjet printer. So it's like, I need more space. So I'm praying for increase and I'm trying to be a good steward over what I already have. So I'm trying to rearrange and get these things together so that, um, you know, a lot of times we pray for things and we want things, but are we properly taking care of what we already have? So I just message. So, you know, I just want to make sure that all my stuff is together and in order because I'm praying for increase, but I want to make sure that I'm being a good steward over what I already have. So just starting from scratch, like going through so many things, things I don't need. I'm going to like throw them out, you know, all of that. Y'all know I'm always cleaning up and trying to organize. Y'all know I'm out in my in my head one day, I pray that I'm going to be a Pinterest person and I'm going to have my life completely together organized. That's one day. So just trying to get those things in order um, and starting now, I'm not waiting till the new year. Like I said, all last night, I've been organizing things and writing on my dry erase boards. Y'all know I love dry erase boards and, you know, trying to think of ways where I could show up more and be better. And that includes getting more rest and making sure Maddie has her rest and making sure that I'm being diligent with my time and using my time blocking and discipline myself and being more consistent and things like that. So just trying to get my life together so that um, I can have my life together for y'all. When y'all want y'all one-on-ones, I could, you know, give you guys good advice and stuff. And um, really focused, really excited, really determined, really grateful. If y'all saw my video, y'all know I got so, some more unboxing to do. Um, I was so grateful to get the uh, air assist for my X2 as well as the honeycomb. And then I have something from Bella Canvas. So thank all of you guys. Like I said, all of my brand uh, partnerships and soon to be brand partnerships and sponsors. You guys just don't know how much I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm so excited though. Really excited about the future of Do Dream On, about my dreamers. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. I need y'all to know that. 
And um, I just wanted the motivational Monday for today. I think I kind of already said one, but I'm going to add on to it is to, um, and I'm sorry, I'm happy and I'm excited as y'all can see, but like I said, I got a lot going on. I got to read this obituary for the funeral tomorrow. And so I'm still, you know, I'm just trying to get myself together. But um, the motivational Monday for today is going to be, in addition, is for us to do those things that we've been so afraid to do. What are some things you've been wanting to do, but you've been so afraid to do and you've been holding yourself back from doing it? I'm just moving up here so Instagram can see me. I want you guys to do it and do it afraid. I want you guys to write a list of five things that you want to do in 2023 that you've been too afraid to do. And I want you to write a list of five. And then I want you to put them in order of most realistic, like the, the, sm the smallest goal, something you could realistically do. It's like your biggest goal. And I want you to sit down and figure out how you're going to do those five things. We have 12 months to do five things. I think that we could do it. So I want you to do some things afraid. And you may not have five things. You may have one thing. And that's okay, too. If it's one thing, if it's starting a YouTube channel, starting your business, starting a print on demand, um, learning how to skate. Y'all know last time. I know how to skate already. But I took skating classes over the summer. You know, I'm divorced and Maddie goes to her dad for the summer. So I went and I took some skating lessons and this summer I'm going to go and take some more. Even though I knew how to skate already, I, it was just, I want to be like, I mean, like getting it on the skates. So I want you to do something. It doesn't even have to be grand as opening the business. It could be something, like I said, is learning how to skate, learning how to sew, starting a YouTube channel, um, starting, it could be starting your business. I want you to give yourself, do something afraid, something you've been so afraid to do, write it down. And then I want you to go ahead and start putting, uh, write down some barriers of why you weren't doing those things, right? Like why haven't you been doing the things that you've been so scared to do? And then we're going to like knock those things off the list. So I want you guys to do that. You guys, if it's something you feel like sharing, you guys could drop it. Um, Hey, hey, Nicole. Hey, Brenda. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you too, Tiffany. Thank you, Heather, for the prayers. Thank you, Tiffany. But yeah, I want you guys to uh, write those things down. The time is now from what we know. I always say this because you never know. We only have one life. It's time for us to do it. Do it even if you're scared. I'm coming for everything that I want. And I ain't even waiting to 2023 because who even I'm not even waiting. So I'm and I'm doing my I'm doing my due diligence to make sure that I get those things that I want. I'm make sure I'm praying that it's in God's will and all those things. But the things that I need to do, I'm making sure that I'm prepared. And the things that I want, I'm setting myself up for, for preparation. So when it gets here, I'll know what to do with it. So that's where my mind is at. That's where my mood is at. I'm really just motivated and I'm excited and I just want to send you guys that same energy too. So that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on over here at Do Dream On. I'm telling you, man. Hey, Fabulosis. Thank you again, Brenda Heather. Oh, I love you too, Woodcrafter. Love you simply, Dale. Thanks, Dimps. Thanks, Brenda. Love you. Thank y'all for the condolences and stuff, y'all. But yeah, I really just wanted to get on here, show y'all this new pressure. I'm so excited. I'm about to pop these nails off and put my other nails on because I got a little manicure. I'm about to pop these nails off, about to wash my hair, get myself together, and have myself a good night. And I'm just so excited about this press. I've been wanting this press. So yeah, y'all. That's all I got. If anybody got any questions or anything, drop them down in the comments. If not, I'm about to let y'all have yourself a good night. And thank y'all for jumping on on Instagram. I never go live. I think I went live like once before and I'm sweaty. I'm hot. This little heat press thing, it warmed up. Y'all cannot believe I put that butcher paper on. It didn't look like it bled through, though. But I'm going to press it on, like, another piece of butcher paper just to make sure that it didn't get on there. But, yeah. 
got some more unboxing, some more videos, some more stuff to share, some more stuff to do. I literally have two videos right now that I have to edit. Excuse me. Some photos I have to edit, some orders I have to do. Your girl is busy, but I'm blessed and I'm grateful. So, yeah, y'all. That's all I got for the day. Let me see what y'all talking about. If I'm always open for suggestions, so let me know what y'all thinking about some videos y'all like to do, some uh, see, some hacks y'all would like to see, anything. Just make sure y'all let me know. But I'm about to get off of here and like I said, get myself ready so I'm going to be up too late. I'm going to be up a little late, but not too late. And um, if that's all, let me see. Make sure I'm not missing no comments. And if that's, oh, thank you so much for Instagram. Instagram, y'all, so far, I can't see y'all. So thank y'all for hopping on on Instagram. I see some fire emojis. I think I see my bestie on there. Hey, Lexi, boo. I think I see some people on there. So thank y'all. Have a good night. Everybody be safe. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Now I got to get over there. So y'all know how this is set up. I got to get loo, 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 loo. And then come back up. Now y'all can see me. I was so far back. Now y'all can see me. <laughs> y'all have a good night. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Ooh, I had over 30 people on Instagram, y'all. People don't be, ooh, I like that. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Love y'all.